welcome back everyone so today we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest check if there is a valid parenthesis string path so we are given a matrix each uh, cell contains either a open parenthesis or a closed parenthesis we need to find whether there is a valid parenthesis string path in the grid or not so a valid parenthesis is just uh, a parenthesis uh, sequence which uh, like which is valid so valid uh, denotes uh, normal valid parenthesis sequence so how to like uh, for example in this uh, grid you can see this is a valid parenthesis path uh, similarly this is again a valid parenthesis path so for this particular case we will return true uh, similarly, for this case, you can see this. There is no valid parenthesis path because starting itself, it is starting with uh, uh, the closing brace. Okay, so that's the problem. Now let's discuss how to solve this. So first of all, like uh, uh, let's try to reduce the problem. Uh, you can only go right and down. Okay, so these are the two possible uh, things that you can do. Either you can go right or you can go down. So let's say you go right. So when you go right, uh, what you will be left with is you have reduced your problem set uh, or basically you have reduced your grid into a smaller grid. And what you are saying is you already have a, you already have taken a opening brace with you, with, uh, with you. Okay. So Similarly, now let's say from here also you again uh, go right. So in that case, you will again reduce your uh, search space to a smaller space. And now you will be saying that you have uh, two open parentheses with you. Okay. So similarly, you will uh, uh, move, let's say, uh, down a path. Like let's say you move like this. Now, after uh, hitting the end, you will have a sequence of string okay now you can just check whether that sequence is valid or not and if it is valid return true otherwise return false so what we are saying is basically from each cell you want to find whether it is possible to reach to the end or not so for example uh, if you will be at here you will say whether it is possible to reach from this cell to this cell uh, with some uh, with with all this uh, string already taken okay so what will be the algorithm uh, so algorithm is something like this so for cell r comma c you will say whether you will be able to re uh, re reach large cell with a valid sequence or not and str denotes the sequence that you have already encountered okay so if you reach the end you will just check whether str is valid or not if it is valid it will return true otherwise you will return false and if you are not at end you will either go down or you will go right if one of uh, uh, if one of this is valid uh, you will return true otherwise you will return false okay so this is simple solution now what will be the time complexity of this so r into c would be there like total number of uh, possible states of this function f into uh, length of str would be n plus m minus 1 okay so uh, just for simplicity let's say uh, let's just uh, uh, denote r plus c by r plus c minus 1 by r plus c so length of this str is r plus c okay now every uh, string every possible case has two choice either it can be so let's say th there is a string of length four so every character here can either be an open brace or it can be a closing brace right so everything has two choices so total two to the power r plus c so this will be the time complexity of this solution okay but uh, clearly this will not pass because r and c is around 100 okay so now how to solve this like this is something that we can afford uh, for sure but this is something that we can't afford we have to uh, we can't afford storing the entire string with us okay so what we will do 
now for this let's make an observation so let's say do you really need to store that entire string uh, because uh, how what you will do at the end is so uh, just to make things clear so what you will do at the end is you will be checking whether this string is valid or not right that's what you are doing with this string at the end so will it be required for you to store this entire string to make this check or not let's try to understand this let's see how you will validate a string so let's say you get this particular string uh, after reaching uh, the last cell okay now you have to find whether this is valid or not so what you will do uh, you will count the opening brace so if, when you encounter opening brace you will do plus one again opening brace again plus one opening brace plus one now you will find a closing brace so closing brace is cancelled with the recent opening brace then you will find a closing uh, closing brace it will be cancelled with the recent opening brace then you encountered again like this two plus one are gone okay so now you again encountered a opening brace you can do plus one and uh, now you get a closing brace so for this closing brace you can cancel the recent opening brace uh, and then you again get a closing brace for this you will cancel the recent opening brace so that's why that's how you will finding that whether this string is valid or not so what you are actually doing is you like this actual string doesn't matter what matters is how many opening brace were there before this particular position right so let's do this again with the uh, uh, count of opening brace okay so let's say uh, we have a variable uh, number of opening brace okay with us so let's initially it is zero so now when we encountered the first one it will be one we encountered second one it will be two we encountered third one it will be three then we encountered a closing brace so we will subtract one again a closing brace we will subtract one again opening brace add one closing brace subtract one closing brace subtract one so finally if it is zero it means every closing brace has a opening brace corresponding to it before it okay so that's where this string is valid now let's try to apply this same thing with this uh, string so let's say again initially open will be zero so you encountered a opening brace so do a plus one opening brace plus one again an opening brace plus one then closing brace minus one closing brace minus one closing brace minus one again you find a closing brace so you like no matter what let's say there is a opening brace after this as well okay so let's say this is the case so at the end everything will be zero but now you will see that okay opening brace like for this closing brace there is no opening brace before it right so this is not a valid string right so if there is an o closing brace there should be an opening brace before this one to cancel uh, like to make this complete pair right so once you see that there is a closing brace and you don't have any opening brace you will just say that this string is not valid okay so now what we are doing is we are just instead of this entire string we are just saying that okay if we have a count uh, we, we, we will we can just find out whether the string is valid or not so in our previous algorithm uh, we were storing this entire string but now we are saying that okay we don't need the entire string if we have count uh, of opening brace until this point then everything will be sorted out right so what will be the new algorithm so the new algorithm will be simple uh, you will just replace this string with opens count. So now we are storing number of uh, opening brace until this. So if we are at the end, we will just check whether this opening brace count is zero or not. We will return true. Else we will return false. Now there is one more case which I missed here. So basically, uh, if uh, opening brace count uh, is zero uh, is less than zero uh, we will return false directly because we are sure that opening brace count is uh, already less than zero so there is a closing brace which doesn't have corresponding opening brace before it so that's where it can't be a valid string so similarly 
like before, we will do we will go right and down, and if any one of them is uh, true, we will return true. Otherwise, we will return false. Uh, and similarly, like this open count will be like we will do plus or minus one depending on the current character. If let's say uh, R plus one comma C is opening brace, we will do plus one. If it is closing brace, we will do minus one. And rest all things are similar. So now the complexity is R cross C cross the value of this open count. So at the worst case, what can happen? Everything is open, right? So basically R plus C. That's the uh, maximum possible value of open count. So finally, the time complexity is uh, R, uh, R square, like R, R into C into R plus C. So let's quickly look at the code. So this is the code which I submitted during the contest. So I have this uh, DP. Okay, uh, one more thing, like uh, because like this same state can be calculated more than one times. So uh, you have to memorize it so that you will be calculating each of these state exactly once. Okay, so that's the extra step. So now you keep uh, you keep this DP for memorization. Uh, now you will check if open is less than zero. You will directly return zero. If you are at the end, then you will check whether open is zero or not. If it is zero, you will return one. Otherwise, you will return zero. And then you will check whether you have already calculated this state or not. So if you haven't calculated, it is minus one. So if you haven't calculated this state, you will return. Uh, if you have already calculated this state, it means the value is not minus one. You will directly return whatever the value you have calculated previously. Otherwise, you will mark it as false and see if you can go down. If you can go down, you will go down and see uh, and uh, like modify this open count say, uh, based on whatever character was there in the down. And then you can see if, if you go right, if then you will go right and modify the uh, count of open uh, respectively. And in each, like in this function, we are just setting everything to minus one, and just returning whether uh, it is a valid path. So initial value will be either one or minus one based on whether grid of zero zero is uh, closing your opening. Okay. So hope the solution is clear. If you have any doubts in this problem, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Uh, I will be uploading the rest of the videos uh, very soon. So stay tuned. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.